Hello! I'm doing a video all by myself today. Usually it's serious nibbage and then there's a friend here and then there's a meter. But there is no meter today except for the meter of deliciousness. And you will find out why. Because today I'm going to tell you about something that is delicious. That's right. That makes no sense. Okay. Um, this item was actually sent over from Bureau Direct. That's bureaudirect.co.uk. And um, I did not even know this existed until they sent it to me. And it was actually a surprise. And when I received it, I figured out why it was a surprise. And that's because it smells delicious. Now, that item is this. It is... Cocoina, and that is a paste. So it's an adhesive paste, and um, of course, usually when you think of adhesive paste, you think of like Elmer's glue, like school glue, or uh, wood glue, and it usually comes in like a container, it's clear, and you can smear it around. Um, so basically, this is a tin, uh, it's an aluminum tin, and the lid pops off. And what makes this special, it's really cool stuff. Okay, so you see the white stuff here. This is the paste. And in the center, there's a little hole. Okay, this is this is the cube art. There's a little brush. And this brush is made with pig hair. So they're actually they're 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 soft, but they're stiff enough that you can apply the paste. And the paste itself. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see the texture there. So here it's quite smooth. Okay, so and if I touch it here, you can see my finger is leaving a print. Now the container is convenient because you could put your little brush in there and you can leave it in there for when you need it. And you can just, you know, like dab your brush and do your stuff. Now let me tell you a little bit about this thing before we move on to demonstrations. Yeah, I just ate it. Me, that's part of the excitement. Okay. This, uh, this paste has been made in Italy since the 1920s. And, um, the, the paste itself is made from potato starch. So, what that means is that you can eat it. So, it's non-toxic, and if you're really weird, and you like raw potatoes, like some people, that's me. This is pretty much the most exciting product ever. And the other thing is that it's marzipan scented. So when you open this, take a deep whiff, oh yeah. It smells a lot like almond cookies or almond extract or uh, just delicious baked almond goods or marzipan, those little like marzipan candies that you just eat and it, you know, it's just delicious. The Italian commercials promoted this by saying, this is hilarious, I have, I have the little pamphlet here, but I could not, I couldn't memorize this, this uh, promotion. So, it says, it is not a drug, but a solid glue that amazes and arouses enthusiasm in all who use it. And uh, that's pretty hard to argue with. So, apart from the fact that it's sticky and it's actually glue and adhesive paste that you can use for like scrapbooking or uh, photo journals or whatever you want to use glue for. It also has a light almond scent and you can eat it safely. So all you have to do is just use, you can use your finger of course, but the, the little brush comes to give you a nice even application that will not give you like blobs or anything, doesn't need clumps or anything like that. You can just put down a, a smooth layer, a smooth thin layer, and then that will give you what you need. So it says it works well on paper, photo, Photos, clothes, labels, and any art project you can get your hands on, which is a very versatile product. Okay, so the glue is in this state, as you can see, it is a solid. And there is a crack here because it was solid and then the tin got squeezed. That's not that's not an issue and it's not um, it's not so solid that when you touch it nothing happens. So if I use my finger or if I use the brush, it does pick up some of the paste and I think that's a nice a nice consistency for working with so that it's not so messy. I mean, it's not so solid that you can't do anything, but it's not like so liquidy that you just drip and smear everything everywhere. So it's a pretty mess-free container. And this is 125 grams and it says you could store it for, it, it, or it lasts up to a year. 
Now, I haven't used this or kept it for a year, so I can't really say what happens after a year. Maybe it becomes less sticky. I mean, it is potato starch, so maybe the starches start to break down or something. I, I don't know. But since it's all non-toxic and solvent-free, maybe it's just not, doesn't have enough preservatives and something happens to it. We'll see. So, and they say if the glue hardens a bit in the tin, you can soften it up by scooping it out and heating it in a saucepan with a little bit of water. So I guess that's more of a, you know, do it to your, your needs. I mean, if it's so hard that you can't use it, you can just put a little bit of water in just to make it to the consistency that you need. Pour it back in once it's heated. But maybe do that if you're a kid, you know, have an adult help you, or if you're an adult that is scared of heat, uh, heating elements, have a, a more adult adult help you. I don't know, it could happen. Uh, for longer usage, they say keep the, tin, uh, the cap on tightly after each application. And to be honest, this is a pretty decent capping mechanism. It's, it's not something that's so easy, it's just gonna fall off. So that's pretty, that's pretty decent. I don't think it's gonna just like dry out or something. Uh, they say the potato starch, which is the base ingredient in this paste, comes from the root tubers of the potato plant, which are the leucoplasts, and it's the stuff of gluten-free recipes and kosher foods for Passover. It's extracted by crushing potatoes and releasing the starch grains from, destro from the destroyed cells. So the high viscosity and low gelatinization temperature makes potato starch complementary to glue. That's really cool. So, and then the second main ingredient is glycerin, which is odorless, colorless, and soluble with water. It tastes sweet and is used as the thickening agent in the paste. The nice thing about this as well is that the ingredients for the glue all come from Europe. So for Europeans, this is, I guess, locally sourced. And uh, the tin container and the brush are made of European aluminum and are manufactured in Italy in the company's production plants. So that's, uh, it is very local and it's always nice to support local companies. It, this is it. It's got a lot of, uh, it does have English on there for non-Italians like me. And uh, I think it's really cool. So that's enough blabbering from me. Let's uh, move on to some demonstrating of glue. I, uh, like honestly, I wish I could like send wafts over to you. Look, yeah, yeah, wafting. It smells really nice, and I think overall this is really cute. This brush is so cute, and it's it's five pounds, which is really not that bad. I mean, given that it's edible, so I mean, if you really need to eat it, you can. I don't know if you if you should just sit there and eat the entire tin, but you can eat it if you really have to. It smells really good. It's probably a more pleasant adhesive experience than like you know just regular school glue, and we we, we know the joke of kids eating school paste and also sniffing it. Uh, there's rumors of that. Uh, anyway, moving on. Let's check this out. Uh, thank you to Bureau Direct for sending this over for me to check out. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, that's all. Enough of my rambling. Bye! I don't know where the button is. The button? The glue! <laughs> oh, yeah.